Hello and welcome to the National Lottery's Race to the Numbers coming to you this week from Old Royal Naval College here in Greenwich. Now tonight, one lucky person will walk away from here with £10,000. But every day, a team of volunteers at this project walk home with that money can't buy feeling of giving something back. A little earlier, I caught up with one of their original volunteers to see how lottery funding is giving people a once in a lifetime chance to see something truly amazing. So Anne, tell us exactly what it is that you do here. Well, Ori, I'm the volunteer manager here at the Old Royal Naval College in Greenwich, and I support um, over 150 volunteers who come every day and deliver these amazing ceiling tours um, in this fantastic place that we are now. And your favourite bit? Your favourite bit about the Old Royal Naval College? Oh, my favourite bit has to be this amazing conservation project that we're undertaking at the moment with the help from National Lottery. Mm -hmm. What is it about? Because this is the first time I've stepped into here. Tell me about it. I can see incredible art. It is incredible art. It's, it was painted over 300 years ago um, by Sir James Thornhill. And um, what we wanted to do uh, here at the Painted Hall in Greenwich, um, it would have been really easy for us to have just shut the doors and brought our conservators up who are taking part in this amazing conservation project. But what would have been the fun in that, really? So we decided to have those doors open and bring the general public up to actually see what's going on and how you put together um, a modern conservation project such as this. Absolutely stunning. We also have our amazing chapel, which is just opposite uh, Grand Square. And we also have our visitor centre and the grounds themselves. Um, come and enjoy them. They're amazing. The place is beautiful. So much to see and we have to see more. Come on. After you, please. And that scaffolding comes down in September, so make sure you check it out before it's too late. Now back to tonight, we caught up with some of those racing to the numbers to find out what they'd spend the money on. Here's what they told us. If we won the £10,000, we'd spend it on our honeymoon. I've got a baby, so buying her stuff, because babies need a lot of stuff. If I win £10,000 tonight, I'll be getting married in Disneyland. Facelift. <laughs> no, I would I'd have a facelift. <laughs> if we won the ten, if I or we won the ten thousand pounds, me, I would take my children on a fabulous holiday because we need one. Oh, a new dog. <laughs> Maybe a holiday, I think. But who knows? See if we win. All these people track me down to the old Royal Naval College Greenwich, which is supported by you, the National Lottery players. Now, a number has been selected at random, and one of them is about to win £10,000 in Race to the Numbers. Here we go. And the winning number is 31. That is you, Timothy. There he is. Look at his face. £10,000, Timothy. What are you going to do with the money? He's going on holiday, everybody. Congratulations. We have a guy now, £10,000. Richard Timothy, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tell me, has it sunk in? Not quite yet. I mean, I can't quite believe it. Uh, we were watching television. We rushed straight over here because we live literally across the water from here. And here I am, £10,000 richer. And <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to say other than thank you. Enjoy it, you deserve it. Thank you for coming down and we are so glad you're £10,000 richer. Make sure you tune in to ITV or STV next week and check out the lotto results. And also we're gonna be springing a surprise on one of the unsung heroes from a national lottery funded project. But for now, from me and a shell-shocked Timothy, it is bye for now.